Hello, this is Craig. Since I can now save and load arbitrary meshes to and from the database, I figured that hair would be something that you could let the users specify on their own, rather than um, rather than having hair, uh, rather than just picking from an arbitrary stack of hair models uh, and then being exactly like everyone else with that hair. I thought I would allow users to shape their own hair any way they like. Uh, this is a very, very first attempt. I've only been doing this for a couple of hours now, um, so it's not—it's uh, not the thing. It's not the nothing about it is the final product. Uh, this is not what the hair will look like, um, and this is not how you'll shape it. But I just want to show you that it's certainly possible to allow it, um, and also because of the way that I'm storing the meshes, you can even link the hair to bones, which allows you to do long hair that links to the neck and spine bones uh, for deformed purposes. So you don't have to, so you don't have to have short hair or that long hair which goes in weird directions when you tilt your head. Um, so this is what it looks like when it's an individual frond editing, and then when you press space, boom, you've got uh, uh, the actual final mesh, which is then cement it into place and uh, save to the database and then load it up and it's your own personal hairstyle. I think this offers a lot of opportunities but there's still obviously a lot of polishing that has to happen before it's ready. Uh, this is all I've managed to get done in the past few hours and I'm done for the night so I thought I'd just show it off.